Hello, adorable puppies who learn to obey commands in five minutes. Why are all the signs gone? Is this Optifine again? Damn you, Optifine, what are you doing? This is 1.5.2. I thought you fixed it. Darn it. But yeah, this is 1.5.2 because we have updated Pasty Parcel to the latest uh, version of Minecraft uh, and all thanks to IX uh, who wrote a new HC mod just for us, updated just for this. Uh, it's pretty awesome, so we're here and uh, it's awesome. Yeah, I really don't get why some of the signs are gone, but uh, if this is like in the issue I had in Corrupt Kingdoms, then it's going to also fix itself. The signs are not actually lost forever and ever. Mm, let me organize my inventory here, one second and I'll be right back. And this is done, I got everything I wanted, I built a couple of uh, swiftness potions, inventory is ready, this is ready, enchanted a shovel, la 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 la, we got everything we need, so I'm going to sleep first, because I would like... Uh... Oh, are there? Are, are there monsters nearby? Really? Have they left? <laughs> are they under my bed? There are monsters under my bed, aren't there? This is the first time I've seen this happen. Crap, we have a problem. Can I sleep now? Yes, yes I can! Ooh, I tricked the monsters who were tracking me through the walls and the floor. But yeah, now we're here. Oh, maybe that's a creeper. Maybe it's a creeper. That is bad because the creeper is not going to burn, so I'm just going to run out of here. We Uh, much more in the previous episode as requested. Oh wow, my frame rate is as low as it can possibly get. Careful, where did it, where is it? I do not see where it was. I kind of ah darn, really, half a heart for that. I'm in full armor. That is embarrassing. I was looking for Guybrush. I don't remember where I left him last time. Guybrush, the creeper is somewhere around here, isn't it? I can't I can't see the creeper. It's using the testificates to hide. Um, Guybrush? Oh, oh, creeper incoming, creeper incoming. Where did I leave Guybrush last time? Where is it? Guybrush? Guybrush? <laughs> um, I don't want to leave without Guybrush. I'm wasting time. I only have 30 minutes to do what I want. Guybrush? Yes, w something needs to be done about these certificates because my game, uh, my game is not, uh, my computer is not happy about this. My computer is not happy about this. Why did I leave Guybrush last time? Why do I not remember? Is it in the house? It's not in the house, I would have seen it. Uh, woof! Did you hear that? Woof! Is it below the house? Maybe it's not it last time. <laughs> that works. I cleared out. I cleared up some of the certificates for you guys. Are you happy? <laughs> Crap! I broke the. I broke the entrance. Ah, oh, Munch must put so much thought into this, and uh, he put all of his heart and stuff to build our entrance and make it certificate free. I know that guy will not allow me to ever put it back the way it was before. No. Here, uh, it was something like this. I believe, and then there was pressure plate here that I may or may not have lost, and the letter that I probably lost. Hello. Is there anything here that I need? No. Can I get rid of you guys in any kind of way? Well, for, for the moment, that is closed. This is not how I wanted my episode to go. This is not how I wanted it to be. But uh, now there's less entities around. Are you happy? Come on. Yes! Where's the crafting table? I need the letters. And the pressure plate. How do I make letters? I think I make letters like this. I do. I do remember how to Minecraft. Aha! Uh -huh. Perfect! It's fixed, mostly. <laughs> Time to leave, finally. 
And wait, the dog. Dog. Yes, Gabriel is right here. I think I forgot the last time to sit him. Oh, there's a fresh bullet. I think I forgot to, to set him down somewhere last time. So the moment the bird started playing, my dog sat down because I was its owner wasn't there anymore. Oh my goodness, the frame rate. This is all IX's fault. All his fault. <laughs> but there we go. We're ready to leave. No, 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 no. I totally could have made these potions splash potions so that I would have been able to um, use their effects on Guybrush too because Speedy Dogs are kind of cool. But whatever, we're leaving in search of a new cave for us to explore because Munch more requested to find coal because he needs more torches for his project in the nether. One possibility would have been to go in the nether with the looting sword, which I did not bring with me. And uh, I totally... this was lame. <laughs> There's coal over there. And I totally... Um, I need this here. Uh, hunt uh, wither skeletons. Because with the looting sword, they're going to drop a whole bunch of coal. Guybrush, seriously, you know better than to walk in front of my tools. Uh, that could, that could have been done, but since Munchum is not yet done with his Wither Skeleton's trap, and I'm not really good at building, I didn't feel like sticking around there and trying to finish it myself, or just uh, at trying to hunt down the Wither Skeletons when uh, that may not be the most efficient thing to do. This is a spawner, no, no questioning it. Uh, let's see if I can't approach it from here. By the way, I should eat. Careful, because... Spiders, yep, spiders. Awesome! Look at what we found! It's really nice. What a great find. Actually, I could just uh, dig a hole and let the sunlight in right here, maybe? Yeah, that is perfect. Wow! Nice! And boop! Don't go after them, Guybrush. Seriously, don't. Okay, ah, oh, stop moving. That should be it. Wait, there's more. No, oh, there isn't. Nice! Almost surface spawner. Let's check it out. La la la. What? 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 No chests? That stinks! You stink! Give me the XP! There! Now we feel bad. I'm sorry. I was overcome by rage. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's check out this other cave. That's not a cave. Why am I being so unlucky with caves right now? Come on. There! Much better. This has to go somewhere. Look, there's even a nice little... Oh, oh, oh. What a slide that almost made me take fall damage and that would have really sucked. But yeah, so I'm going to look for coal instead by caving. Maybe I can find more diamond sand or... Oh, wait, I need fortune then. More diamond sand or gold. I don't think I will be able to get a new golden apple. Unless also the next episode I'm going to go caving, which may get a tiny bit repetitive, but then again, that seems to be what I am decent uh, at doing. So everybody should play depending on what they're good at, shouldn't they? That's kind of how it works. Teamwork uh, doesn't mean that everybody has to do everything, but everybody should do what they can do, and they can do really well. This Seriously, I can't find caves today. That stinks. But yeah, I've been talking about, about Manchmo for the past 10 minutes almost. There is something I would like to say about him that uh, I wouldn't have minded saying in my latest episode of Super Flat Adventures, which is linked in that annotation right there, which will not stop, uh, it will not stop this video if you click on it. It will just pause it because it's going to open the, the other video in another window, so it's not going to close mm -hmm. this one. So feel free to click on it if you haven't watched it yet, if you want to pause this and skip to that, or watch it later, or whatever else you want to do. But uh, in that episode I talked about uh, me starting a fundraiser. Oop, there was nothing really interesting here. And uh, what has much more to do with that? Uh, it has everything to do. He has everything to do with grammar. <laughs> Because this fundraiser will, will not have started without him. Why is that? Because he took the initiative to start a fundraiser for me. 
when he discovered, when he got to know about just how bad my computer issues were. Why are you dying? That is not good. There are cows back here. Oh, pigs. Those work too. Here, let, let me... Oh, I don't have a looting sword. That would have been nice <laughs> for the pigs. Get a whole bunch of pork chops. There. This is the second time I forget to bring rotten flesh for Guybrush. Why are you so si sick and hurt? Poor Guybrush. Here, have another pig. Oh, where, where did I pick it up? Oh, it's here. It's hiding on the dirt. Nom, nom, nom. Perfect. I love you too. Let's get some uh, cobble. I still haven't found a cave, which kind of stinks. But I am collecting a whole bunch of coal. He, much more should he be happy with this. So he started fundraising for me when he discovered just how bad my situation with the graphic card was. And that, how did this happen? Did a pig take his own life? That's horrible. And that is something that really just blew my mind when, <laughs> when I discovered what he did. Again, as I mentioned in Superfall Adventures, the kindness of strangers is just something amazing, something... Um, oh, it's going to follow me. Or not. You stay there. <laughs> he started fundraising for me to help me out with that. And th when I discovered that he was doing that, I almost fell off my chair in disbelief. That is just so nice. <laughs> Yet at the same time, I, I thought about it for one day and then I got back to him and, and said uh, that I really, 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 really appreciated his gesture. Can I say that? I really appreciated what he was doing for me, but when it comes down to money, to collecting money, uh, and if people have issues with anything that is going on, and he's doing that for me, uh, people should not uh, uh, blame him or should not. Uh, it's just this is something I should be doing, just to avoid any issues whatsoever. I don't want him to take the blame for something he's doing for me. It's just not right. So I started my own fundraiser and uh, fundraising, I keep getting that wrong. And uh, the point I wanted to make is just that that would not have happened uh, if uh, Manchmo did not take the initiative to help me out. Because, uh, well, people have been telling me to start a chip in since always. Uh, and I never quite did because money scares me. <laughs> I never quite did it just because I didn't felt I had responsibility to do something like that. I just wasn't sure, I was afraid and stuff. Uh, and uh, yeah, again, they, this would not have happened if it wasn't for him. So thank you for thank you for man, Manchmo. <laughs> Why is your name so difficult to say right now? Thank you, Manchmo. Really, 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 really thank you. You did something incredible for me and. Uh, I just want you to know how grateful I am for that and I want everybody to know that there's a zombie right below my feet and it's going to hurt me if I fall down there. Going you know, down waterfalls uh, in a UHC world is a terrible idea. I found my cave finally and I only have 4 minutes to explore it. I mean 6, I embedded math. Math. <laughs> that is something else. That is something else I would like to talk about. I am terrible at distinguishing those two sounds M math math <laughs> i can't quite figure it out did you die it sounded like you died except you didn't uh. oh hey hey no gabrish gabrish wait gabrish don't do it teleport where i am get here gabrish 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 no crap i lost gabrish while talking about math Hello, creeper. Darn it. Darn it. I don't lose my dogs to lava, I lose my dogs to water. <laughs> oh well, next time I'll tame a dog, Gyrish is going to be reincarnated in that dog. The moment I color its color, I color its color. See, I can't, f I can't hear the difference. I don't quite get it, and yet there are so many words in English that have a different meaning if you pronounce them just a tiny bit different, like bag and bag. See, I, I don't know what the difference actually is. It's in bag like bagging and bag like uh, a shopping bag. 
I can't tell what the difference is. And people point that out to me all the time and I just don't get it. <laughs> That's... We, we don't have those two sounds in Italian. We do have something kind of similar, but I don't think that's quite it. Uh, I'm not sure. I just can't tell. And I just can't find caves that go low enough to, to find gold or diamonds today. Yeah. This kind of sucks. There is one back at the waterfall that I was at a moment ago so i'm going to explore that real quick also i completely forgot to drink another speed potion i get them just for this <laughs> and yeah that is kind of embarrassing when uh, i try to say a word and I accidentally say another one and i don't even notice i'm going to get this iron now if only for the xp xp uh there it is and that happens all the freaking time but then again When I look back at my first few videos, which you should not do, trust me, don't don't go back to my channel and look at it, my oldest videos. But when I watch them, it puts things into perspective, because I realize, yeah, sure, I'm having issues pronouncing certain words, but boy, am I getting better at English with a whole bunch of practice. I hear a whole bunch of mobs, not practice. To my left, indeed. Let's try going here real quick, and if I don't see anything, I'm just going to give. Oh, oh, I found it. Me. Hello. Oh, hello. Okay, kind of safe. Hello, Mr. Creeper and Zombie. Oh, hey. Come on. Oh oh, I'm out of errors. I completely forgot we don't have an infinity bow. I completely forgot about it. Whoops. Okay, time to mine all the coal I see just to get uh, the XP needed to get an infinity bow of some kind. Hmm. This is not a nice cave at all. Stuff could come down from anywhere. Let's close this and this and this. So again. Of course, my first videos were my first videos. <laughs> These things. I was inexperienced at uh, recording videos, editing videos, doing commentary, and speaking English. But uh, I, while well, my videos, my first videos are definitely of awful quality, I will never go back and delete them. Even though I'm really embarrassed by them, even though they're really bad and stuff, but I will never go back and delete them because they are. They were my first steps in this journey, and uh, I would not be here if it wasn't for those steps. It's, everybody starts from zero, everybody starts from not having experience, from uh, not knowing how to do things the most efficient way, and uh, I should not be embarrassed of that, I should be proud of that, I should be proud of the fact that I took those steps in the first place and now I'm here, still not as good as maybe other people or not as good as I would like to be, but definitely much better and I can't do anything but improve even more. So if you're somebody who wants to start doing something, whether it's recording videos or any project you might have in your life, and you start it and you realize, oh wow, I really suck at this, don't just screw it and keep going with it because it's normal and uh, the only way you can really improve is by getting experience and of course you need to put lots of effort into it and you need to be willing to study to research to put all of your heart into what you're doing and into trying to make it better and better and better but eventually you'll get there and there's no way you will ever get there if you don't start from zero there's no way you will ever get anywhere if you don't take your right first step so just keep that in mind. Now I'm going to leave because I am almost uh, I've almost played for 30 minutes. 30? Not 30. 20. Wait. Do I play for 20 or 30 in Passy Parcel? I'll play for 30! Why was I <laughs> I was confused. I I still have 30 uh, 10 minutes I can play. I'm not leaving. I, I'll keep going. <laughs> the cave keeps going. I, for a moment, I for completely forgot the time I was supposed to record a video. See, I'm still 
making really silly mistakes, but that makes for entertaining videos, right? Right? Can you lie to me, please? So, how do I get up here in this cave that I see? There we go, I was finding me too low. Did I brush you? <laughs> <laughs> Give me that. And that. Okay. You know what? Screw the water. I don't care. Let's get down to it. There's more coal, I'm happy. This coal is going to last us forever, so I think I can stop uh, using fortune on it. Oh, there's uh, some sort of cave. Oh no, it's lapis. I thought I, see, I saw water. I'm 99% certain that you don't get extra experience if you fortune uh, blocks uh, instead of mining them normally, so... Uh, I am trying to get experience here because I want an infinity bow. I probably forgot to feed the chickens and get the arrows. <laughs> but yeah, I will do that when I come back. Still, yes, the cave keeps going. No, it doesn't. Oh, come on. I'm wanting XP for the infinity bow. That would really just make things a whole bunch simpler. I hear a bat. So there might be something else if I kept going. Or not. But there's a skeleton, so there may be something else if I keep going. Mr. Bat? Mr. Bat, I don't want to kill you, but if you don't get out of my way, I may not have a chance. There we go. Wait, if it's a skeleton... Oh, this is a ravine. This is totally a ravine. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> what do you think you're doing, Mr. Skeleton? I can't let you hit me. That would be awful. I can't let you do that to me. Yo! This is a tiny ravine, which I don't mind because it means that I have less uh, chances of getting uh, bombed by a creeper jumping from the top. Because that would be an insta kill. Talking about creepers? Oh, my. Out of errors. <laughs> I already forget about that. That is awful. Did that skeleton not drop any error whatsoever? That stinks really much. Emeralds, emeralds, emeralds everywhere. I need to go back for them, gold. Okay, this is starting to not be tiny anymore. So that worries me. I'll go back for all this stuff. First, uh, I want to make sure that I light this place up as soon as possible. That block glitched for a second. Careful. I'm out of torches, that stinks. Gold, let's see, only two. That is not good. Oh, there we are. More. Always dig more. <laughs> Always dig around the ores that you see because they might be a surprise. Give me the iron. Okay, let's stay here. Make torches. I need more sticks. So make sticks and then make torches. Thanks. I need to get the emeralds. I will fortune those. Just uh, because. Why not? Oop. I, I got four. Wow. Quite the deal. Quite the deal, I must say. Where is the other? Oh, it's all the way up there. Hmm. This ravine is very silent. Oh, more stuff down there. Recently, I watched a couple of videos uh, where people discussed uh, a little, very small detail about uh, making uh, Let's Play videos. A, a very small thing about it. Uh, that people seem to have a very... very... strong opinions about... Uh, which was something I hadn't really noticed before. But... Here's a tiny thing, if you're playing a game that has some sort of plot, or some sort of dialogues, narration, or whatever else, and you're recording it, and you're going to upload it somewhere, you're making a let's play of any kind, uh, or if you don't, if you're somebody who's viewing such a let's play, would you prefer if uh, the person Recording the video, read 
the dialogues in case there is no voice acting for it or not. Do you think they should be read out loud by the person recording the video or not? Would you prefer if the person talked over any cutscene and uh, did not read any dialogue out loud in case there is no voice acting whatsoever for the game and they talked about something else in the meantime and or only read them out loud if they have something that they want to point out about dialogues. Uh, because apparently some people think that if you're making a let's play you should never ever ever read the text that is on the screen because the viewers have the ability of stopping the video, pausing the video and reading them if they want. Because if they don't want to hear about it either because they already know the game and already know the plot, already know the dialogues and if they're watching a let's play they don't want to. Uh, have the let's player read things they already know about again. They want to hear him making commentary, making jokes. Uh, and so there is no reason to read any dialogues or narration whatsoever. I, 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 for example, prefer if the let's player does read the dialogues out loud for me. Mostly because I'm really interested in the plot. Uh, in most games, even games with terrible plot, I just want to know what is going on. Uh... Yeah, why not? I look fortunate lapis. <laughs> because, yes. My inventory is full. I guess I'll be leaving now. And it really bothers me if somebody is n just uh, not paying attention to the cutscenes and doing their own commentary in the meantime. And uh, I have to stop the video, pause it, to go back and try to follow what is going on in the actual game. That is so rubbish. I really don't like that. It's just like when I'm reading a book and I don't understand a word and I have to stop and check the dictionary for it. No, that stinks. That takes me out of it. Yet, with Let's Plays and this specific thing, apparently a whole bunch of people think it's a sin to read out dialogues or narration. If they're recording a video, they must never do that ever. And it surprised me to know that there's such a that there are people have such a strong opinion about it. So yeah, I wanted to mention this, uh, and I was wondering what you think about it. Uh, in my Emotra Let's Play, I did indeed read the dialogues out loud. In I do that because, as I said, I prefer when Let's Players do read the dialogues. Uh, so I do what I would like to see them doing. That's Obvious. But at the same time, I have an accent and I may mispronounce words, I, and I do mispronounce words, so I'm probably one of those people who should not do that, if not just to avoid embarrassing myself. Uh, what else? Yeah, I did read the dialogues in Momodara, but there were also few dialogues. I don't remember where the exit is. Uh, there were very few dialogues, so that may not be a horrible idea. I came from where the water is. I think. Mm. I am going in circles. <laughs> nom 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 nom. Where did I come from? I am pretty proud of my ability of not getting lost in caves, but uh, right now I can't uh, remember where I came from. I keep going in circles and that is kind of annoying. Did I? Oh yes, this is where I came from. I dug through here. Yep, found it. Also here a skeleton. I heard a skeleton before too. I guess I never found out where it was. Okay, I came from uh, behind here. This is the water where I got down from. I think I need to drink a speed potion again. I hope it's not nighttime and I hope nothing's going to drop from here. I have 18 levels. That's kind of nice. Uh, although I wanted 20. And this time I did not come back with a whole bunch of gold and uh, uh, diamonds. No diamonds whatsoever. But hey, still at least I got... Uh, all the coal that Munchmo could ever possibly want. Uh, here, there's more. <laughs> uh, 
You put... Did I close it? I don't remember if I... Oh, yeah, I closed it, but it's because I didn't come from here. Now, the exit... It is night time. Wait, uh, that is the zombie I saw before. I remember you. Give me the speed pot. I'm almost out of time, so I need to hurry back home. Whee! Let's see. The entrance may be actually up here. Wait, no, there is no exit whatsoever. There we go. Perfect. And this time I'm going home without Guybrush. I feel so bad about that. <laughs> that is awful. And the village is that way. Now we really have nothing, nothing else to do but to hunt for the wither skeleton skulls. That is really a process that annoys me. Before, before the wither was implemented, I thought the ender pearl gathering process was annoying as heck. Which it was, except if you have a looting sword, it takes you very little time in comparison to when you don't. But still, it's annoying, you shouldn't have that. I, it's just annoying. I, I, I don't like the idea of having to just uh, stay there. This is the spider spawner, isn't that? No, it's not. There's a treasure here. Treasure chest. Oh, always have blocks on your bar. That's a skeleton one, isn't it? They're not spawning. Is there a hole on the surface that is preventing them from doing so? Interesting. No, it just is broken. <laughs> What's in here? Buckets, buckets, iron, bread. We don't need any of this, really. Uh, I'll take the XP. <laughs> Some people never ever break spawners, ever, even if they're not going to use them for anything, simply because they're non-renewable things that give you a whole bunch of renewable things, and it's a sin to break them. I'm kind of like that, except in this case, really, we have no reason to keep any of them, and I'll gladly take the extra experience. So there you have it. We're here, we are mostly in time, and this really needs fixing, doesn't it? Oop. <laughs> Oops, at least this chest didn't blow up, because that would really be an issue. I mean, can you imagine losing this block? This thing is so precious, we can't really afford to do that, can't we? It even has a name, which kind of makes me realize right now that... Uh, for this to have a name, that was weird. For this to have a name, Berg actually spent uh, levels on it. Uh, can you imagine that? Why more frame rate? <laughs> but yeah, um, I think we need to do this because it's really, really annoying. How well, I don't know why I walked that way. It's really annoying that frame rate drop we have there just because of uh, all the villages we have there by the way oh i didn't really see it it's uh, 130 hello 130 entities at the moment so we need to bring back the person who made this mess uh, and make him fix it Psst, that ruined it I promise you it burned, even though you did not hear it burn. It's like when you drop a little stone in a well to hear the to hear it, it to touch the bottom and it never does. Because it's too deep. You know? Welcome back, Ayaxo, to Pasty Parcel Season 2. Hooray! <laughs> it didn't sound really happy. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed yourself and I will see you in the next episode of Festive Parcel. See, the science came back! Hooray!